Let's paint our own Oho Sun color wheel art. I'm starting off with a blank 12 inch by 12 inch square whitewashed wooden sign that I got from Michaels. And then I have DecoArt Americana Acrylics in Buttermilk, which is a beautiful creamy light yellow color. I also have a medium flat brush, and I'm going to use that to just freehand a freeform circle shape near the center of my wooden sign. Just like that. Next, I have some thin washi tape that I'm going to use to mark off 12 sections around my sun center. Because I wanted my piece to have an organic boho feel, I did not want all of the sections to be the exact same size or spacing. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it here, but with washi tape, it's easy to adjust any sections that seem too big or too close together or too spread out. And as you apply the washi tape, be sure to use your finger to smooth it down firmly so you get a nice tight seal. And when we have our 12 sections all taped off, we are ready to paint. So we are going to be filling three of these sections with our boho primary colors, which are going to be a deeper version of red, yellow, and blue. And in between those three primary sections, there will be three sections that will have the secondary and tertiary colors that we are going to mix using our deeper boho versions of the primary colors. So I'm going to start with Deep Burgundy as my boho red color. I recommend using a flat brush for this and as you paint over the tape, be sure that you're pulling your brush away from the tape edge and not pushing the paint towards it. Next, I'm going to paint my yellow section, and for that, I'm using a deeper ochre color of yellow. I'm going to skip over three sections from my burgundy section and then fill that in. Again, I'm using that same technique of pulling the paintbrush away from the tape instead of pushing it towards it. For my boho blue, I'm using deep midnight blue. And again, skipping over three sections from the burgundy and the ochre, I'm going to fill in that section with my deep blue color. After painting those three primary sections, we are ready to mix some colors. I recommend doing this in sections. I'm going to start by mixing the colors that go between the yellow and blue. I'm just going to start by putting some paint on my palette pad here. I will be mixing three different green hues. The first is yellow green, which is two parts yellow, one part blue, green, which is equal parts yellow and blue, and blue green, which is one part yellow, two parts blue. I'm just going to use a palette knife here to mix those colors together. These don't have to be perfectly equal, I'm just kind of eyeballing them, but you can always add in more of a color if the mix seems a little off to you. Then we are ready to paint in those three sections between the yellow and the blue. I'm starting with the center section, which is the green. Then I'll paint the yellow green in between green and yellow. And blue green in between green and blue. Next, we are going to mix the red and yellow to make our oranges. So again, I'm going to do one that's equal parts yellow and red, one that's two parts yellow for one part red, and one that's two parts red for one part yellow. And then we will paint in those three sections between the yellow and red with our orange, yellow, orange, and red, orange. Finally, we will repeat this process for our purple hues by first mixing our purple colors and then painting them onto the appropriate sections. 
After you've painted all 12 of the sections, it's time to peel off the tape and reveal your design. If you have any messy edges, just use a little bit of white paint and a flat brush to clean them up. And at this point, your piece is all done and ready to display. 